Russia's defense ministry has slammed a damning Amnesty International report calling it groundless. The human rights group claims Russia's bombing campaign in Syria has killed 200 civilians in at least 25 attacks. As for the report's sources, Amnesty says it researched all cases remotely based on witnesses interviewed over the phone or on the internet. Russia's defense ministry claims that much of the evidence collected is not relevant. I'd like to highlight that the report specifies all facts were investigated remotely, with Amnesty International sourcing information through phone interviews with so-called local human rights activists. The report repeatedly says such statements as supposed Russian airstrikes and possible abuse of international law, etc. So it's nothing but pure allegations without any solid evidence. Amnesty International claims there are no military targets in those areas. But again, they are not able to prove this information, as jihadists in Syria operate through high mobility units. Well, earlier, Marina Joshi discussed the accusations with Roman Kosarev. Amnesty reviewed the air bombardment of a market in the rebel hell town of Ariha, and that killed 49 people at the time. We looked at the news uh, on the airstrike published by two UK-based human rights groups. Now, the first outlet suggests that the airstrike was carried out by Syrian army. The second human rights group refers to the airstrike as probably Russian. Now, the question about who could be behind the airstrike was also raised at the U.S. State Department briefing. So we note these reports. We cannot confirm details on that. The U.S. is not aware uh, who is bombing where in the province. What the I would say is if you have questions on Russian airstrikes, you should speak to the Russian okay. government. Now, another case uh, investigated by Amnesty International is a blast in the town of uh, Sarmin. It is important to mention now that Russia's defense ministry did report on an airstrike in the area and uh, specify the ammunition that was used to carry it out. It was Cab 500. It also provided footage of what the aftermath of such a blast looks like. And uh, it's a very large mushroom-shaped cloud. Now, now, this video purportedly shows the blast, and uh, the moment of the blast is clearly seen in the footage to the right of the cameraman. He falls, but then he jumps up and continues filming as, as uh, the small cloud of dust clears, which is hard to believe considering 500 kilos of TNT exploded right next to him. Now, here is another video posted on YouTube a year ago that shows the hospital under construction, and this is the screenshot from the video on the left. And uh, the Russian Defense Ministry's aerial image of what it says is the hospital. We see a similar dome-shaped structure next to the building on both images. We also see a wall positioned in a similar way. So some very serious accusations against Russia, yet all of these things uh, have been investigated and researched uh, remotely.